Hello and welcome back. This is Quad Blue Shadow, and today I'll be doing an altitude hold tutorial, and I'll also be adding a roll stabilizer. And as you can see, I have the plane from my old tutorial, or from the tutorial about my plane. And now I'm going to add an altitude hold. So the first thing you want to do is get a gyro. You just want a gyro really quick. Here we go. It doesn't really matter where you put this, you can just put it anywhere. I'm just gonna place it there. And now I have disconnected all the uh, control surfaces because we had to reconnect them through the gyro. Well, actually, no, 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 not through the gyro. I will actually have, I'm actually gonna use a microcontroller. And I will have a link to it in the description. So, yeah, make sure to look for that. Wait, not, not, I don't know. Also, there. I'm just gonna place this. Uh, Right here. It's fine. Alright, now here we're gonna do the pitch in. Which is yeah, it's W S. And then pitch out. This is going to go into the pitch of the gyro. Make sure it goes into the pitch. And then you grab the stabilized pitch and you put it on these. So there you go. Um now you just wanna actually hook these up really quick to turn them on when it's necessary and next you want a keypad yeah small keypad and uh, the large keypad is more for like autopilot small keypad is just for a small number that you <coughs> that you can just simply input like that and now we're gonna put this into altitude set point now the altitude we will we need um uh, here let's see it's called an altimeter. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, you need an altimeter, which we will find in sensors. It's the first one. Just place this on here like that. And you probably want to put this kind of like in the middle of your plane somewhere. And in a good spot. That way it stabilizes at the right height. Like if I were to put it here, it would uh, stabilize in a different spot. So, I mean, I guess it's preference. But... Yeah, that's what I would do. Now, <clears throat> you're going to need to input the altitude that you're at into the microcontroller. <clears throat> and that should do the altitude hold. So now that you hop in, there we go. Oh, come on. Dial this up. Put it at a hundred. There we go. And now I have it set at two. So when I press two, it stabilizes at the right height. As you can see. Now then there's also the issue of oh wait. Ah uh, yes. So now the roll. Like if I were to stand on this way to you see how it's kind of rolling? Yeah, I have it disconnected right now for the purpose of the roll stabilizer and I forgot to kind of connect it again. But yeah, you see what's happening right here? We do not want this. This is... no. So, what we're gonna do is add a roll stabilizer. It's actually really simple and it doesn't even involve any microcontrollers. So, find the tallest spot on your plane and you're going to grab a tilt sensor. There we go. And now you're going to point it to the left. Next, you'll need a switch box. So, numerical switch box. I'm just going to put it right here. And the first value, okay, hold on. Uh, the off value, there we go. That's what we needed. We're going to put A and D. And then the on value uh, we'll get to in a second. Just do this. And I'm actually just connect, gonna connect this to two as well. So it's all just one key. Now, you need a PID controller. And you'll just find it right here. I'm just gonna put this there. All right, now what you want to do is get the PID controller, put it on your set point. Oh, hold up, yeah. Yes, your set point wants to just be zero, 
and your um, your process variable will be the tilt sensor. So yeah, just you don't have to hook up anything to the set point because it's automatically zero. And I'll just activate this with two. And now we go in here. And what you want to do is to put these values and you will have a very smooth uh, altitude hold. Uh, I can't remember if it's three or two zeros, but we'll see. All right, now with those values, it should ride pretty smoothly. All the electricity is hooked up. All right. Now let's get into it. And let's see. There we go. Oh. So, now that we do this, press one. I'm gonna go ahead and press two already. There we go. And I'm going to. Uh oh. Okay, I might have to redo that. Okay. I should probably wait for this thing to stabilize. Now let's see. Uh huh. There we go. Let's try this a little quicker. I'm good. Go. I'm gonna press two, let it stabilize before I uh, get up. There we go. Oh, okay. Now look. Once, wait. Uh, let's see. It, it should start stabilizing. Okay. Yeah. You see, it, it's not going any further. Actually. Um. Now, if I were to get to the middle. Or the, oh, no, no, not the other side, the middle. Hmm. Okay. Alright. It might actually need either one more zero or one less zero on the... Here, let's see. On the... Integral over again. There we go. I'm going to go with one less really quick. And let's see. This should uh, make it more responsive. There we go. Put in 100. Filling up. And I'm going to hit 2. And now I'm going to test something really quick. Uh huh. Alright, so it's actually staying online. See? <clears throat> As you can see, I am turning. And it is perfectly fine. <clears throat> Once uh, I stop doing that, it'll stabilize nice and smooth. It'll eventually come to a stop and stuff. Now, if I stand on the wing, it will tilt a little bit, but it won't tilt all the way. And look, it's actually stabilizing. See? Okay, there it is. So, those were the actual values. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, see you next time.